Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with Workshop Addict, and we are going to have a slightly uncomfortable talk about locking things up and possibly how easy it could be to get into a simple master lock. The thing that makes you seem all warm and fuzzy inside that you're locked up and safe and secure, really not so much. Your trailer lock that's sitting outside right next to the road, your fence that's locked up. Your and property, everything. It's all sitting here based off of this. And what you're saying, this keeps the honest person honest. And what we've seen on the internet is, is interesting because there's a million ways of getting in here. But what we want to kind of show you is supposedly how easy it is to get into one of these locks, which if it is as easy as what they show on the internet, it scares me. That's why we're gonna always suggest, think of different ways to go through it and maybe we'll find some other things here. But, I don't know. The first thing we've seen, a couple of wrenches. This is it. Mm -hmm. What do oh. you think? I, I'm, I'm putting some faith in the lock, but watching these other videos, it seemed to come apart pretty easy. So we have master locks here. We're gonna put this together and we're hoping that the master lock brand name makes a difference. Let's check it out. but it's not out yet. So evidently the brand name doesn't matter. No, I'm a little let down. In the fact that the first piece came out or the opened end of the lock I mean, we took a small sliver off this that's not even an eighth inch thick and the top piece broke right out. And, and that's the only thing that keeps it secure is that little tab. So that's your locking mechanism. This piece that I just dropped and we'll never find <laughs> is all that uh, really holds it. And that, that, that's crap. Yeah. There's no doubt. So the next question in our head is, okay, so you have a smaller lock that's on something. It's easy to pry upwards, and that's what we're doing. We're pulling this up. And would a longer lock make the difference if you then have to try to pry it sideways and break it outwards? And we're we, relying on brittle, hard metal here. And we just so happen to have one laying around the shop, so. So let's give that a try and see if maybe using a longer lock would be smarter. This thing I have, am I still on? That ain't happening under my power. No. Let's we'll try up higher. Did you break the wrench? Something no. came off. Right there. Broke the end right off. Is that on camera? Yeah. So prying the lock open sideways at the bottom? The longer lock was, I didn't have enough in the tank to break it at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot because I mean, you got some power there. I, I just. I'm getting old. <laughs> Still, that's, that's, there's a lot there. And yeah. when it broke, I questioned, when we moved it up to the middle and it broke, I questioned if we took a chunk out of one of the wrenches. Because it wasn't visible right away that the lock broke. So we're but. breaking this lock right at the dead top. Yeah. Breaking right, it apart. Right at the U. So, what the hell? It, that's got to be the weakest part of the curl being it's hardened steel when you're trying to bend it apart. 
It's a tight bend. That's where she let go. I know everything about metallurgy or blah, 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 <laughs> from Forge and Fire, right? <laughs> right. Somebody did that wrong. Right. Yeah. But realistically, well, I don't know. There's got to be, I need comments, guys, below. Some of you guys who work with metal a lot more, forging, whatever, can you semi harden something here? Is this too hard? Is that why we're breaking through this stuff so easy and it's just chipping apart? What would be the difference if you didn't have such a hard metal here? Would, would a softer metal just not hold up to the abuse over time, being locked and unlocked, locked, unlocked? Or is the hardened steel a theft deterrent? Yep, I got an idea. Okay. We're gonna take a bandsaw out of one of these. Let's just see how hard this is. Not at all. Ain't doing nothing. Well, it's obviously hard. Yeah. <laughs> The bandsaw did nothing. It didn't even touch it. So, yeah, what are we... You know, when we were all growing up and somebody lost their key, they didn't think of two wrenches. They got out a bolt cutter. So yeah. how hard is it to cut these? Let's try a bolt cutter. You ready? Bolt cutters, no issue with hard metal, right? No. And you could obviously get in faster than your wrench method if you just had a set of bolt cutters with you. But not everybody carries bolt cutters. Most of us carry wrenches in our truck. And it takes a little bit of strength to squeeze them. Right. But realistically, if we're talking about how quick something goes through, a grinder. Yeah, that, I mean, if, if I was a thief and had to do this stuff, that would be my tool of choice. Not it still it. sucks when we talk about something like this, but I mean, a lock in yeah. a grinder, there's, there's zero locks out there on the market that are gonna withstand what you can do with a grinder. You yeah. just, I mean, that's seconds. A cutting wheel, you're into anything. So the question that we have, these master locks that we've been using in the American lock that we had, uh, fairly new, we have what we believe to be an older master lock here. It says Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the bottom and made in the USA, which nothing else did. Let's Give see, her help. See if we can do it again. Yeah, that one's been sitting around here, so we'll find out. Nice. That's the one side broke. Yep. Same thing, huh? The other side doesn't want to let go. That's good, that's better news, but we still got in you there. You can still get into it. So but, not as hard because it didn't break. But there you have that little dinky piece again. Where did that come from? Right there. Crazy. I don't or even no. think it did. It it's actually, that, that's the inside case that locked it. Okay. Well. It pulled it right up. This didn't even get hurt. But either way, there's that much metal that's holding that bolt in place. This sucks. So yeah. if you lock stuff up, things that we do around the shop, if we have an enclosed trailer and we put a lock on the back of it, somebody could go through the sides of it pretty easy. But what we do to keep the honest people honest is we back it up to the garage door. So when you lock the back, no matter what you do, you can't pull the back gate down right. and get to the inside. Um, there's a million other things, I guess, that you can think of to try to make yourself feel a little bit more warm and fuzzy. But the reality of it is, even the trailer tongue locks that they have out there, the bigger ones. The ball locks, yeah. They're not as secure as you think they are. So, whatever you do, if you have some great suggestions for security for people, Bring it up, man. If you're on the job site or you're anywhere and somebody wants to get into your locked toolbox, it's seconds. Mm -hmm. And whatever happens, we all think it's crap. If you steal stuff, we think you suck. And we'll go from there. Can't emphasize that enough. Jesus. So thanks for your time, guys. Make sure you leave us comments on what's happening in your life with locks, what you do for security, and what you think of this. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.